All right, so how's it going, everybody? It's been a minute, so I figured uh, <clears throat> I was gonna make a video showing how to make a bird cage. So to start with, I have no idea how to make a bird cage, but it seems rather simple. I'm gonna use the same kind of shape, I guess it would be, that uh, I built an aquarium stand, I guess. Probably now it's been like three or four months, which I've recorded all of it and I haven't uploaded it because I haven't. Uh, basically, I've got the aquarium set up to where I just need to put water in it now. But uh, I was waiting until I got all that ready to go before I made a video about all that. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and link like the vid. I think I watched two videos. I'll have to find them. I didn't save them at all. Where I got some of the ideas from a little bit of both. So I'm gonna. Uh, my mother got a canary, and I didn't like the cage it came with, or she got for it. And we got a spit like a wall unit kind of. The wall unit thing's about like 33 inches long. So I'm gonna try and make it around there. And then uh, what do we got? We got 16 and a half inches wide and 18 inches tall. So that's the, uh, I'll show the paper so you can see what um, I'm talking about. And uh, those are roughly the size that I'm gonna try and make. So I got the wood and for like the cage part, uh, I'll show. I'm going to be using, I saw it on one video, I thought it was a really good idea for it, um, shelves, like you would put that, uh, I mean, you'll, it's way easier to show it and you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, I'm using shelves for like the cage part. Um, haven't really figured out how I'm going to make a door. Um, yeah, that's kind of, I'm kind of like making it up as I go and trying to see, and also at the bottom. Uh, I'm gonna try and make like a little tray thing so you could take out uh, the paper to like clean it. So uh, I've cut a few of the pieces and two trips to Home Depot because I keep forgetting things. And uh, yeah, let's see uh, let's see what I'm doing right now. And to answer your question, I have not been fishing. <laughs> uh, I don't remember the last time I went fishing. Probably like. Um, Whenever the last time I uploaded a video for fishing, I haven't. I, every time I've looked to go fish, it's either been really windy or kind of raining and not nice weather out. The ocean's been rough. Uh, I'm sure the ocean has been calm some days that I haven't looked. But uh, yeah, hopefully pretty soon uh, some of these cold fronts will chill out for a little bit and bring us some nice weather. I mean, temperature is beautiful, um, just the wind. All right, so I said I'd show the kind of measurement stuff I'm working with. Um, ignore the top two. That's what I measured before. Um, this is actually the you know, like almost exact dimensions of the wall unit, so I need to make it a little bit smaller just so there's like space on each side. But yeah, we got 33 inches long, um, 16 and a half inch wide, um, which uh, with the wood pieces, I think it comes out to 18 inches. Uh, you gotta account for the thickness of the wood and 18 inches tall, which again, with the thickness of the wood, I think comes around. Actually, I think that the wall unit's 22, and I made it 21 just so there would be room. So it comes out to about uh, 21 inches tall, I think it was. Um, don't worry, I'll make sure before I <laughs> finish anything. Um, this was the kind of what I was trying to make, essentially like a, a box and. Uh, obviously there's gonna be a back to it and this piece uh, right here I'm trying to show for like the tray and you can't see it because it's focused um, like the line across was gonna be a piece of wood and then I was gonna put I can't remember the material it's like this white board material um, starts with an M but uh, yeah I was trying to look for that but I can't find a piece that's uh, wide enough and long enough. There's like huge pieces of it, which are like $18 that I feel like it'd be a waste just to get like however big of a piece and only use a small part of it. But uh, yeah, it's pretty much, I'm gonna put a piece of wood across and then I'm gonna make kind of like a little drawer kind of thing. So uh, yeah. All right, so this was the shelving stuff I was talking about. Um, as you can see, uh, I'm actually gonna go back. Where do these come by? This is a four foot. Um, I think they're 11 something. Doesn't tell you. I had to measure it at Home Depot, but I think they're 11 inches across. Um, which, if I, I'm planning on putting it like one piece there, then the other piece 
kind of like this so it comes out um, that when I put it like that it's gonna be longer than the cage has to be but uh, I'm actually gonna go back and there are smaller like closer together that I think would be better just because I think actually I'm pretty confident the bird would not get through this um, my mom does not seem to be um, so to make her happy I'm just gonna get the closer together ones but I thought this would be perfect because they're further apart and you'd be able to see the bird better but uh, make her happy actually canaries can't hear it right now but he was just singing anyway but uh, yeah so I'm gonna have to I have like an angle grinder thing that uh, I was gonna use to cut through um, you can see they have like kind of a lip here just so that it would make it a smooth piece and I could probably actually cut up to here to make it fit um, the, the height wise so that was going to make up the cage part of it, but I'm going to take these back. What we got for wood are these pieces. I forget. <laughs> were these the eight foot ones? I think they were eight. Yeah, there's six and eight foot. I got the eight foot ones. So uh, I think I had six eight foot ones that were, and I think I got one extra just in case. Um, but yeah, it's, uh, it's that that you can't read. <laughs> Yeah, it's a uh, supine, supine, uh, what are these? One by two, eight foot. Come on. You know you want to focus. There you go, one by twos. And uh, I mean, I don't know, what were these? These are like $6, I believe, for each piece. Um, there's probably some cheaper wood out there, but I figured this wood uh, was nice and smooth. If I wanted to paint it, then I decided I'm not going to paint it. Um, I'm sure there's like some special kind of paint you would have to use that wouldn't be like toxic to the bird. Because I know when because uh, I painted the aquarium stand that uh, you have to keep in mind for that because you don't want the fumes coming off. Even though the paint's dried, it could come off and into the water and pollute the tank. And I figured the same would be for the bird, especially if it picks at it. So I'm just going to leave it kind of like this uh, wood look that it would be and uh, yeah so we got four pieces here that I cut up and those are the 18 inch tall pieces and these are the 16 and a half inch wide pieces so basically I'm gonna put one across um two of these guys so originally i was gonna make this kind of like this um start to show i was gonna put it like this and then screw them together and then uh i can get it to stand but then once i did that just testing it really quick i found out i realized this gap right here and when I was thinking about, okay, there's gonna be the gap there, that if I made the tray, there would, I'd have to cut the wood, that um, there would be this, however, like what is that, like half an inch maybe? Less than that on each side, where it would just be, um, like it'd go to the bottom, which, so I was like, okay, that doesn't make sense. So I decided to put the wood up here like this, on top of each other. Oh wow, that actually stayed like that. And that eliminates that problem because then pretend like this is the piece going across it. Now there is not that gap. So we're gonna do it like that. And from that I had to make the measurement, I had to recut everything, but not that big a deal. So pretty much we're gonna do it like this. And we're going to have another piece over here, and then a piece on top. So I'm just going to screw them together. Um, these are one and a half inch, I believe they came out to be, so I got some two inch screws. Make sure 
um, that hold together. I don't think this bird's gonna knock it apart, so <laughs> that should be good. So uh, let's screw this together. We got the two, uh, I guess it'd be side pieces, uh, as you can see. So I measured it and it came out to 21 and a half inches for the wall unit and these pieces come out to 21 inches so we are good. Um, mostly just kind of wanted space on the sides, not so much up and down. So now we got to uh, cut the pieces, well just to give like a basic idea, um, there's one side, there's the other side and we're putting uh, I gotta make sure because I believe it's two pieces are the easy way to do this would be we have 33 inches to work with and these pieces just put uh because you're gonna have to account for each side of it when cutting the piece for the middle and why did it get so bright all right it looks like we're gonna have to do this in the shade so we can actually see stuff um so to account for it uh put them together and just measure it out. Should be one and a half inch. Yep, just about. No, it is definitely one and a half inch. So we'll take it out. So make it. Uh, so we'll just cut it out to be uh, 31 and a half inches, and come out to 33 inches, and it'll fit perfect. All right. So we measured out 31 and a half inches on the piece of wood, and we got it right here. My tape measure would have stayed. Dog, get out of my, what are, you, what are you helping? You're not helping me measure, what are you doing here? Come up and lick my face. Um, all right, so we got 31 and a half inches. Just to make sure everything is correct, we measured out for 33 inches, and we added two pieces to pretend, the mark, and we got 33, just a little bit over. It's all right, the actual size is 34 and a half, so we'll have plenty of room on each side, which is what I was, Aiming for in case I need to like put uh put your hands like in it. There's enough space just to like look at get a little grip on it. So uh yeah, let's get this cutting. And I'm still learning to use this thing. Um I know kind of to account for the blade, so I always try to cut I always try and get the blade kinda of, like for this way. I'm gonna be trying to put the blade on the right of it so it doesn't take off. Because if you cut out right on the line it'll take uh Forget how thick the blade is, but it'll take that much off and make it shorter. So uh, yeah, let's try that out. Also, the extent of my woodworking skills is making extremely questionable skateboard ramps with my friends when we were younger, and pretty much watching YouTube videos and Googling how to use stuff. But this saw seems simple enough. Um, of course, be careful with it, because uh, it's a saw. <laughs> But uh, yeah. All right, let's cut this. Just a little bit. There. All right, I think we'll be good with that. I think I made it just. a little bit of half past three and a half or 31 and a half you can see maybe hopefully if it focuses right what the hell is my dog barking at oh, focus come on uh you can see the mark i made hopefully just past it uh i can use that to just shave a little bit off so it's closer to the mark all right so we got our four pieces cut 31 and a half inches and uh we got our two square pieces i guess we're gonna call them and pretty much all we're gonna do now is screw uh, screw mine on each side. I'm actually gonna leave one 
on the bottom side off because I have not figured out yet what I'm gonna use as kind of like a tray thing, which once I put the other three on, I'll try and explain it better. It'll make more sense. So we're only gonna do three of them and leave the fourth one off till tomorrow. I'm gonna go back to Home Depot because I wanna return the shelf stuff. So I'm trying to go back to Home Depot and see if I can find something that'll be cool for that. So let's get this together. And also I need more screws because these kind of move. So I'm gonna be putting one on each until I get uh, more screws to do that. And also I'm gonna be using my smaller screws. I got one inch screws because these are half inch pieces. So the way I'm gonna be putting on the, oh, you can see it's moving right there. That's why I need to put two of them. Um, as you can see, I'm gonna put it like this and I'm gonna put the 31 inch piece right here in my left hand and uh, I'm gonna put them like this together. So one inch screws will go fine, half inch each side. Again, this bird I don't think is gonna tear it apart, so. <laughs> All right, so we got this uh, part way. Uh, I got this on, I got two of the pieces on. One thing I ran into um, that I did not account for was, so this screw is holding this piece on. So now I gotta like, just miss it to put in these uh, on the top to connect the 31 inch pieces. And uh, yeah, now put this in. And again, I'm only gonna put three on because I'm making one side the front where I'm gonna have to put the 31 inch piece a little bit higher than the other because I'm gonna try and make it like a tray. Once it's together, it'll make more sense. But yeah, that's where we at. All right, so we got it together. And uh, as I said, I was only going to put three of the 31 inch pieces across. Turns out, uh, totally did not calculate. These little one inch screws were not long enough. So I got impatient, didn't want to go to Home Depot, found some nails, um, put two nails on each 31 inch piece each side. So that got that holding. Um, gonna go get some more nails. Tomorrow for finishing this last piece of it that I said I was gonna leave out. So, the idea was I wanted to make a kind of like trade deal. So, my idea was to leave, I don't know how much space, depending on what I, what I find that will work. So, say, uh, say the piece will be like this thick. So I'll put, um, so put the piece, it's gonna cover the whole bottom of it. Uh, it'll be like a piece of plot, not plywood, but I got I can't remember the damn name of it. It's, it's with an M, I'll remember tomorrow when I go look for it. But uh, basically it's gonna cover the whole ground and I'm gonna put this piece, uh, however high it's gonna be, so pretending that, uh, I'm gonna put it like that, so. It'll be this far off the ground, and then I can just slide this in, the whole thing in and out. Um, I'm gonna probably put it just a little bit higher, so planning on taping whatever kind of paper uh, for the bird to crap on and stuff and drop the bird seed and everything. Um, I'm gonna leave a little bit of space just so that it won't just get caught on the other side when you pull it out. So that's the plan for that. Then, uh, then, I gotta figure out how I'm going to put um, the cage part of it on there. And the sky looks like it's getting kind of dark over there, so it might rain, so I think it's time to call it.
All right, so went to Home Depot, took back the old shelves, and uh, I don't have anything to compare it to, but you can probably tell um, these are a lot closer together, so won't have to worry at all with the bird. And also, it's I found I forget I think the old ones were 16 inches wide. And uh, I found these that are 20 inches wide, and the cage itself is 21 inches, so it actually, these should fit it perfect. I still haven't figured out if, like, I'm going to cut off the, see, like, the top part right here. Because uh, I could just lay this on the top, and it'll cover all the way down. Or if I cut that off, then I can space it evenly between the top and bottom pieces of wood. So I still have not figured that out. So um, we're gonna have to do a lot of cuts. Got, uh, we got one here for the 33 inch piece and then uh, two pieces, one here and then one here for 16 and a half inches for the side pieces. Um, for the back, I got this stuff for, uh, I'll show it. And uh, on the top, I'm just gonna put a piece of plywood cause it's gonna be pretty close to the roof of the cabinet where we're putting it. So I don't think it would really matter putting up the cage. And I, I got a second piece accidentally. Um, so I'll take those back. These things are like 20 bucks, I think. It's pretty much the most expensive part of the cage. So uh, that'll save some money. I thought I needed that piece and we will not. So I got uh, my good old angle grinder here. And we're gonna cut that off. And uh, we'll be back. All right, so this is what we got so far. Um, got the kit, uh, shelving cut up for the three sides. Um, I'm actually gonna cover the roof and the back because uh, I made the dimension so close to the where we're putting it that um, it's not gonna really matter. Plus, I wouldn't be able to fit um, this cage uh, shelf on top. Then it would have fit into the wall unit that I'm putting it in. So we got that. Um, Probably gonna go back with like a paint pen or something to like kind of cover up the black uh, burnt rubber from cutting it. But what I use to attach it, and it's also kind of crooked, so I have to go back and uh, raise this left side up a little bit. Um, what I used to attach it are called, I couldn't figure out what the hell they were called, but I know they have them all over my boat to, for the wiring to make it all nice and neat. But they're called, turns out they're called cable clamps. And I get, these are the quarter inch ones. And uh, as you can see right here, it's a clamp for the cable. Um, looks like this. Basically, it's round and it uh, actually, this fits pretty much, pre why is it not focusing? Fits pretty perfectly around uh, the thicker parts of the shelf and it has two holes in it for a screw. And uh, it kind of, Go together, then you screw it down. So as you can see here, this is how focus. So all they really do is just like slide on, screw it down. So that seems to hold it pretty good. Um, I don't know if they make metal ones or not, but these are plastic. These should hold pretty good. And put using that all around there. Um, might have to go get some more to make sure every spot is secure. And we gotta figure out, still haven't figured out what I'm gonna do for the bottom. But I think I'm just gonna use a piece of plywood. I'm actually gonna use this material. They got home people call it flamica. But I don't think, I think it's actually called laminate. But um, it's really skinny, which I'm gonna have to use it for the top part because I can't fit it into the wall unit that we're putting in. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna cut it out for the back. I need to go get another piece for the top. And uh, yeah, that should take care of that. And I might even, I was thinking maybe put this on the plywood that I'm gonna use for the bottom of the cage for like the little pull out part. So like, um, so you could just like tape down the newspaper and paper and just pull it out all at once kind of thing. So it's like a little kind of like a shelf deal. That's what I was aiming to do. We got a leftover piece of the shelving that uh, I gotta figure out how to cut it right. Cause I feel like these two pieces are like perfectly sized for doors. And I gotta figure out where I'm gonna cut that in here 
And how I'm gonna attach them, I don't know. I was thinking maybe just like zip ties. I mean, it might look kind of crappy, but um, I don't know. Cause it's gotta like move. I haven't figured out how to make like a latch for it or not, but I don't know, we'll figure that out once we come to that part. So, gotta get uh, the back and top on. All right, so here is the finished product. Um, <laughs> there's a couple of holes I need to fill in where I had to put some screws to raise it up. But yeah, I cut out the hole in the middle. There's a spare piece of this. Uh, right now I have it. Cop, well, uh, I guess my mom put paper clip thing to hold it on or something, but I had copper wire. Uh, I'm gonna figure out something better up here. These are the same things I use to screw on uh, up in the corners. Yeah, I see right there. I had to raise that up, but I'll fill that in and uh, sand it down. And then uh, I found at like the pet store, it's like, I think it's a dog cage tray. And I think I need to, Take the bird back out and then lower this a little bit because it's a little bit, if I flip it over, there's like these edges that I need to fix. Um, I might just like, uh, right now we just got that there. Just, I mean, I don't think the bird can escape, but my mom thinks it is. So whatever makes her feel better, I guess. Uh, I might just put another piece of wood. I got one left over uh, just down the side there to fill that in kind of. And, uh, yeah, because then I think we could flip the tray over because right now I have the tray upside down kind of thing. But, I mean, it's definitely not the best looking thing ever. But I think the bird, let's see, focus on him. Yeah. Yeah. I think he likes it. Focus. Stop moving. Yeah, I think he likes it though, because he could fly around a lot more, a little bit. And, uh, oh yeah, I, did, I don't think, I don't know if I did or not. Uh, I think it's called a dowel or whatever, but circle piece of wood, round piece. Um, I tried to cut some edges on them so I could like fit it so that it wouldn't rock back and forth. But uh, I got impatient with that, so I just super glued it to the sides of the, uh, like on here and set it on, super glued it, because, uh, was still wobbling a little bit. They're not actually, I might have to go get some different ones because these aren't all that strong, I feel like. Like they, they're really flexible for like how thick they are. But uh, yeah, I think those work pretty good. Um, probably gonna put a couple more around, maybe, just so I have some more spots to go hang out in. But yeah, overall, and then this like uh, pulls up like that and yeah, I, I could probably do a couple more things to make it look a little bit cleaner than it is, but um, I don't know, it fits the uh, spot pretty nicely, so I like it. Um, hopefully you enjoyed me struggling building with it. Uh, I thought it was kind of fun thing to make a video with uh, just kind of showing what happened, and I was bored, and I figured why not. So yeah, hopefully you enjoyed. If it helped somebody, uh, awesome. I'm glad it did, and if not, Thank you for watching.